If you don't believe in ghosts. If you don't mind, dummies. If you think nothing scares you. Then think again. Really hard. Hello, Guzmans fans. I'm going to have to do two duel. Two of them. Double good shot. Yeah, do two. Oh, first things first is I'm now digging into I Live in Your Basement. Sorry, I can't wait for Paparina to do it. I need to actually just figure it out myself before, well, it's going to take a long while for Paparina to get there. Just saying. And Squid Jib, we don't talk about Squid Jib. No, no, no. We don't talk about Squid Jib. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we gotta do now. We don't talk about squid jib. No, no, no. We don't talk about squid jib. <laughs> Anyways, besides that messed up rip, um, I'm looking at Gagsby. Yeah, he did it like, hmm, how many years has it been now? Um, two to three years ago, I think. Maybe even four. So two to four years. <laughs> He said exactly what Cell Block Psycho said, which is, is a psycho thriller. The only messed up part is that for Cell Block Psycho, he actually made it sound pretty good. And yes, there's a psychedelic freaking thing that's going on. But Gagsby actually showed that maybe the ending is kind of heinous. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so we have Marco, and then we have Kevin, and Kevin might actually be the monster in the basement. All of a sudden, he is a monster, but yet he looks just like freaking Marco. What the fuck? Are they shapeshifters? Is that what's going on? And their real form is a freaking Goosebumps looking ditto? But um bum Is that what's going on here? I gotta dig more. I'm trying to find the podcast so I can listen to the podcast, guys of say podcast and I so I'm trying to look for those guys and right now all it says is like would you like to look at a hockey puck team a, a podcast about hockey no I'm looking for goosebumps you bastard the goosebumps podcast not a freaking hockey team are you freaking nuts <sighs> anything with anyways besides that uh what was I going to say oh crap it's leaving my mind no no, 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 I was just, oh, hold on, hold on, let me try to remember it. All right, yeah, I remember now. So, I'm going back to look at freaking Don't Go to Sleep, just for a little moment, just be like, the lesson of the day is, which, if we go with the lesson of the day of the Goosebumps book, is that, do not sleep where your parents tell you not to sleep, but if you do, if you disobey them, you'll be transported to a different timeline in a different world universe. It's like, oh, well, then no wonder the Goosebumps universe don't have freaking, um, they don't have bums and vagabonds and people in the street, the homeless people. No, the police officers don't even have to deal with that because if they sleep on the street, they're not allowed to do that. So then the next thing they know, they're just teleported to a different world. Uh, the only messed up part, you're like, oh, well. If that's the thing, then doesn't that mean that when it comes to um, Brent Green, he technically supposedly not sleeping in that freaking house. It's like, true. That's true. That's true. How come he doesn't get teleported? Well, apparently, I'll have to go with this, is that maybe when it comes straight down to it, it's the fact of if your parents are still alive... And they told you not to do something, not to go sleep somewhere else, or you can only sleep in their home, but you run away and stuff, you get teleported away to a different universe. But if your parents are dead, then it doesn't matter. You can sleep wherever the hell you want. You'll get teleported. But then he's like, yeah, but then there is some homeless people because there's some that actually do have parents that are dead, right? I know this is a dark thing to say, but still, it's kind of like... Okay, so this was going on here. They just, the police don't really have to deal with the homeless that much. They get teleported when they go to sleep, but they're not supposed to be there. 
<laughs> oh damn, that's my stuff. This freaking my stuff. <laughs> oh man, my crappy day again. I got some cash. I got I got food. I was able to get some money from this guy, and well, I guess I'm gonna sleep in this back alley. The next thing you know, there he is as a a 13 year old girl in a new world. Oh man, welcome to, uh, what was that? What was that freaking movie that someone wanted me to, to, to review in my main channel? What was it called? <coughs> she's the Man? No, not She's the Man. It's the one with Rob Snyder. Uh, I don't remember it. It's the one that came before Freaky, but Freaky did it right. Freaky did it right. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> oh, that was a scary day. That was a scary night.